Good evening. The mother of a boy from Leicester who was found hanged at his home after allegedly being bullied says she's not surprised his school has been heavily criticised over its record on pupil safety. Mina Riot says her 15-year-old son Brandon was let down by Judge Meadow Community College. The education watchdog Ofsted has rated the school inadequate and says it's so poor at dealing with bullying that some students accept it as part of school life. Our education correspondent Peter Bean reports. Brandon Riot was a bright student with a love of music, but last August he was found hanged at his home in Humberston in Leicester. He was 15. His mother, Mina, claims he was abused by bullies for 18 months, but his school, Judge Meadow Community College, didn't give him the support he needed. Ofsted inspectors visited the school in December. They've now delivered a damning verdict on the way it deals with bullying. Among their findings, safeguarding arrangements were not fit for purpose, and there was a remarkable lack of vigilance for pupils' safety. Some pupils didn't trust that adults would deal with the bullying. And perhaps most worryingly of all, some pupils accepted that bullying and derogatory teasing were just part of school life. It didn't really come to much surprise, to be honest. Um, it came inadequate in most areas, um, highlighted in the welfare safeguarding of the pupils. Um, it clearly proves that um, my Brendan was let down by the school. You really believe that? I really do, yes. Yeah. And if they'd taken the issues about his welfare more seriously? He, w he would have been here today. The school declined our requests for an interview, but in a statement, the head teacher said, we have been working tirelessly to make changes where there are clear issues, and as a result, we can already see positive progress. However, there is still work to be done, and the experiences of Brandon and his family will inform and influence many of these plans. Staff, students and parents now need the time and the space to continue this work and ensure that our school is a safe place for all students to achieve their very best. The school has also called a meeting for tomorrow evening, where parents can have their say. Bullying is not acceptable. I mean, you just tutors should really do something about it. Yes, yeah, so I'm a little bit concerned at the moment, uh, to be honest. I'm not sure whether to keep her in the school or what to do. Mina Riot says she'd like to see a new national focus on tackling bullying with better training for teachers in supporting victims. Peter Bean, ITV News, Leicester. Well, Peter joins us now from the newsroom. And Peter, Ofsted have given their verdict. So what happens to the school now? Well, Sam, Ofsted have placed the school in special measures. That means that in their view, the school is failing to give its students uh, an adequate level of education. And it means that uh, the inspectors will be back within a few months to do what's called a monitoring inspection to see if there have been uh, sufficient improvements made. Specifically on the bullying, by law, all state schools do have to have an anti-bullying policy in place. And Judge Meadow, indeed, uh, reviewed and updated its own policy after the death of Brandon Riot. But according to Ofsted, that policy hasn't been implemented quickly enough, nor has it had the desired effect. Now, looking ahead, uh, uh, Judge Meadow Community College is getting some outside support now from uh, a local successful academy chain, which has a, a school in Oadby. And you would think that those two will be working closer together, uh, closer than ever before now, uh, in, in the months ahead. As for Judge Meadow, it should be said that uh, academically it does very well. Two thirds of its students got five good GCSEs last summer, which makes it one of the best performers in Leicester. But on this very serious issue of pupil safety, there is clearly an awful lot of work to be done. Peter, thank you very much.